Hello and welcome to another episode of Quarter with Vijay. Uh, today I'm going to uh, take you through uh, Asher Redis Cache. Um, as you know, Redis is one of the very famous open source uh, in-memory data structure or in-memory data store uh, to keep data in memory. Uh, in-memory data store is one of the fastest options to uh, store and get data. But uh, in-memory in memory data is not persistent, we will lose data at some point of time. So if you want to data, uh, if you want to save data, uh, which we need to store permanently, then in-memory data store is not a good option. But if you want to keep some temporary data, um, and if you want uh, fast access or fast write to that data, then uh, in-memory data store is a good option. And Redis cache, cache is one of uh, the very famous uh, famous in-memory data store and which actually support many different data structures such, such as strings, hashes, uh, list, sets, uh, etc. Okay, so today in this session, I'm going to show you how uh, we can create a simple Redis cache and how we can uh, store and get data uh, from uh, to and from Azure Cache, uh, Azure cache using uh, .NET. Okay, so let us uh, jump straight into the lab. So here, search for uh, Redis and uh, here you'd be able to see Azure Cache for Redis. Click on that. Okay, I don't have any uh, cache uh, created yet. Click on Create a Redis Cache. Uh, let us give a name. Um, so this name is globally unique uh, because as you can see, it's Redis, Redis .cache .windows net. So the name uh, is globally uh, unique. So let me give the name code with uh, VJ. Hopefully that will be available. Okay, and uh, select your uh, subscription and a resource group. I'm going to have already have a resource group created, say Learn, uh, Learn Azure. So I've selected that resource group. If you don't have a resource group created, uh, create a new one and uh, select a location. So ideally, this location should be uh, the same region or the nearest region uh, where your application is hosted. Okay, so basically we are using cache uh, to store uh, some temporary data which uh, would be useful for our application. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, West Europe, which is closest to me, okay. And this is the pri pricing tier. Uh, let us see the different pricing models. And you can see it ranges from premium to standard uh, to uh, basic plan. So I'm going to select uh, it basically differs on uh, the, the, uh, the storage space uh, and all other criteria. The prices will change. Prices will change. You can see from for P1 premium, premium that is 348.22 cents, uh, uh, sorry, uh, dollar, euros per month. And for this one, 8,000 uh, something. And there you can see you'll get 120 GB cache for this 53 GB of cache. And uh, okay, depends on storage and other criteria, the price will change. I'm going to select uh, the basic one, the basic one this one okay and selected that and you can see here you have basically for uh, a premium uh, tier, uh, tier there are different uh, options available basically uh, I can set an availability zone and I can uh, select a virtual network uh, but all these options are for uh, premium which I'm not going to uh, show now Okay, let's go with the simple basic plan and I'll show you how to connect. And click on create. That will create a Redis cache for me. Okay, now it looks like uh, the cache has been created. Uh, you can see here. Uh, the status is showing creating, but I believe that is created. Uh, let's go and check. okay here and if you look at the keys um, yeah it looks like it's it has been created but uh, somehow it is not it is not showing the status is completed and showing is created i don't know why but anyway it, it has been created now uh, let us use this connection 
uh, you can see here stack exchange dot redis uh, though microsoft has um, official uh, nuget package for uh, connecting to azure redis cache stack exchange dot redis is uh, uh, one of the famous or the most popular uh, nuget package to uh, connect to redis cache to azure um, so we are going to use this package as well and even microsoft microsoft supports that um, so now let us jump uh, straight into the code and uh, let's, uh, let me show how to connect to uh, redis cache so i have a sample um, console application uh, created here um, and the next thing to do is uh, to add a new get package so here uh, search for redis you can see uh, stack exchange dot redis displayed first and it has 16 million uh, downloads is pretty uh, very uh, famous package uh, for azure redis cache and let me search with uh, azure as well and here you can see uh, though microsoft azure has the official package this is the most uh, commonly used one so let me select uh, this one and click on install okay and let me add uh, the namespace stack exchange dot redis okay now let us uh, create a connection uh, to uh, redis cache okay let me write uh, the code first because we are going to create uh, a thread safe way of connecting uh, to redis cache to make sure make sure only one uh, connection or or, or uh, you know we have only single connect connected instance okay i'll explain what does that mean so lazy and we need connection multiplexer okay and create an instance of uh, the one let me give the name lazy connection and the instance of this one and uh, which accepts uh, uh, connection a fung of the one and we are going to create the one and here uh, we need to connect for that we need a connection string okay um, so what we can do is we can copy this connection string from here okay in real time you shouldn't uh, do this mm, keep it in key vault or config i i, I wouldn't um, I recommend config given out you know go for uh, key vault as that's a secure place to keep all uh, the sensitive information like connection string and password and everything okay now connection multiplexer dot connect so here we need to pass the connection string basically uh, this one okay now we need a property which will get the connection so let me make this static as well and let me uh, give the name connection uh, so here we need connection multiplexer and connection this would be a, a read only uh, property okay this returns the lazy connection dot value Okay. so what uh, this do is this approach of sharing uh, connection multiplexer in instance in the application using a stat static property uh, this provides a thread safe way to initialize only single connected connection multiple instance 
okay that's the whole uh, point of doing like this to make it uh, make it thread safe okay now we have uh, set up the connection and next thing is we need to uh, through this connection we need to uh, connect uh, to the cache so for that let me name this to connection okay for that i'm going to uh, get uh, the lazy connection which we have created lazy connection dot um, value dot get database okay so this will connect to uh, the uh, redis database okay and the next thing to do is add some uh, data and get some uh, get data from the redis cache okay uh, uh, before that we already have a property created here uh, for that so we don't need this to be here that should be connection dot uh, get uh, database okay mm, now let us um, store and get uh, data from uh, redis cache so redis cache uh, work with uh, key value pairs so basically we uh, uh, should have a key and we'll set data with that key and we'll get uh, data uh, using that key okay so uh, for that uh, let me write something so here uh, database dot string uh, get so string is one of the data uh, data structure uh, like that uh, you know it has many different uh, data structure where we can keep data uh, for example stream let me check uh, stream add we can add stream uh, we can add a list um, okay and like that we have many different like sets and we have different uh, data structures so here i'm going to use uh, string get uh, that is one of the know common uh, way of uh, getting and uh, setting data for example if you uh, you want to you want to store a serialized object for example you have an employee class and you want to store uh, the serialized employee uh, json then you can use the same string get and same string um, set because that we are going to s store data as a json string okay uh, for Okay, let me give a name employee okay at first time we uh, won't have any data because we did not create any data yet okay and let me do one thing let me set some data for that we need string set and the key okay here we are going to store a simple string in real time that would be uh, a serialized uh, structure of employee uh, class basically that would be uh, JSON okay here I'm going to give a this is an employee okay let us get that again database dot string get the same key okay this time let us run this application and uh, see what we are getting okay it's taking some time maybe because yeah you can see um, it wrote the first line is blank and 
the second uh, time it gets data from uh, the same cache okay it means when we run it again we should be able to see two uh, times say this is an employee because now we have set uh, the data to redis cache and um, the next time the data would already be there um, so it should write twice let us run again and you can see uh, we got it two times because this time uh, when it calls the first method uh, we already have data stored and it will get that data from uh, the cache okay this uh, this is a simple example of how we can get and set data from a redis cache so thank you very much uh, for watching guys and if you like this video give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you get you'll get uh, updates on my uh, further video updates uh, thank you once again